Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over my really weird rules for engagement for my Read What You Own challenge. I am trying the Read What You Own challenge one more time. I failed it three times in 2023, but this time I'm feeling really good about how I've structured it and I'm really excited for it. And I have linked the Read What You Own challenge to my end of year and 2024 goals. So I need to get those goals to get more books. <laughs> and I think the way I have structured it, it's going to make my TBR, physical TBR go down quite a bit which will be a very good thing because I am currently at 673 unread books. So first, what tier am I in? I am pretty much in the 75 book tier, except for it's actually 77, but uh, I mean, I'm really close to that 75 book tier. Uh, 77 books! that I want to finish before I buy more books. I've already canceled three subscription boxes, book subscription boxes, that I can restart once I have completed all my goals, if I want to. Maybe I'll decide that I'm okay without all those subscriptions every month. I kept two, which are Nightworms and Twisted Retreat, but I can't just open them whenever. I'm going to be able to open one package for every goal that I complete. So I'm not getting any new books unless they're free, gifts, stuff like that. So no books unless I finish a goal and then I get a package which has one to two books in it. Um, I have my first one already. That has come after November 6th and that is my November Nightworms package and I'm just gonna save them and when I finish my goals I'll be able to open it. I'll probably go and order the order that I received the packages uh, so I get the ones that I've had the longest into my hands. But who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll do it randomly. And then after I've finished all of my goals, I've completed those 77 books, then I get to open all of the packages that are left, which will be like super Christmas, I guess. It will be so fun. And it will be like the biggest celebration at the end of Read What You Own. So let me tell you about the books I'm going to be reading. And well, I'm not going to tell you all of the books, but I will tell you my goals and how many books are in each goal. I think that the first one I'm going to finish is to read all my arcs. Right now I have 13 arcs that I need to get through. I am really behind on most of them, other than two that I still have a tiny bit of time left. So I got way too many arcs a while back and I cannot keep up. So I need to finish those before I get any more arcs or any more books. And I think I can do that rather quickly. Once I finish that goal, I will be able to get more advanced review copies since they're free, even if I'm not done with the other books, but not until that goal is completed. So that's 13 books. My second goal is to read all my unfinished books. I have I have nine unfinished books, books that I've started but didn't have a chance to finish. Some of them are very long. So 
I hope I can finish this one really quickly too, but it's a lot of pages. So we'll see how I do on that. Um, but I think nine books is pretty reasonable. And then once I finish them, I get to do a really special unboxing. So yeah, at the, when I complete each goal, I get to do a celebration and doing an unboxing for you, which I'm excited for. My third goal is to finish my 40 books to read before I'm 40. I am very hopeful that I will finish it by the time I'm 41. <laughs> yeah, it would be good if I finished it while I was 40. I think that's a good goal. I have 19 books left for my 40 books to read before I'm 40. And it's a challenge but I think I can do it. And then my fourth goal for the end of the year and 2023 is to read the oldest books on my physical TBR. These are books that I bought before 2017. So I bought them in 2016 or before and I have 20, no, and I have 36 books still from 2016 or before, I need to read those books. There are a lot of fantasy books in there. And I even decided to unhaul quite a few because I just am not as into paranormal romance as I used to be. So there's only a few paranormal romance series that I'm still interested in checking out. So I kept those and then the rest I unhauled, but I still have 36 books that I need to read before I can buy new books. I think that's pretty logical, fair. Those books need to be read. And those four goals add up to 77 books. I'm going to try to do it <laughs> as quick as I can, but um, I'm going to be focusing on those goals and not adding a lot of other books in, but I will probably add some books in for my other books on my TBR because I'm not going to stop doing group reads, book clubs. Um, if there's a book that's on my shelves that, like a new book that I just got recently and I want to read it, I'm going to read it. And that's going to add to even more books read, making my TBR go down even more. So that's good. Also, I love doing readathons, but they kind of take away from the goals that I really want to focus on. So I'm only going to allow myself to put one book for my TBR um, that is not part of the goals onto my monthly TBR for a readathon at a time. <laughs> I will, hmm, should it be one book per readathon? Because sometimes I got a lot of readathons I want to do. But I think I'm going to try to only do one a month or zero <laughs> a month. I'm really going to try to focus on the goals. And if the prompts fit into my goals, that would be the perfect scenario. So hopefully, hopefully they will. But not as many horror books with these goals. There are some, a lot more fantasy and classics. So you might see more fantasy and classics on my channel this year. But of course, with Buddy Reads and Readathons, there'll be some horror mixed in, I'm sure. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this will help my TBR go down to the 500s again. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while, a couple years. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited that this started. I started this on November 6th and I haven't finished any of my books yet. <laughs> I'm still at zero, but it's only the 11th, so I'm making progress. 
So let me know if you're doing the read what you own challenge. What do you think of my weird way I'm doing it? And I'll be back very soon with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.